Hello and welcome welcome to this video on Puppy Linux. For this video we're going to go over some simple uh, procedures for backup. Now if you're using uh, Puppy Linux um, any version whether it's Worry 5.5 which is what I have here or any other version um, nine times out of ten you're going to be using it as a live CD or as a live USB. Um, and in that case, you you want to have some type of uh, um, uh, device that you can go ahead and save your your uh, files to while you're working on on uh, Puppy Linux. Because um, if it boots up the RAM, then it's not going to save anything once you turn it off. So I usually recommend that uh, if you're going to use it with a live CD um, and maybe uh, using it on a laptop then you want to have an extra thumb drive to save your uh, files to. So in either case let's go over some simple uh, backup procedures which uh, even newbies probably know but just to make sure let's go ahead and go over them. Uh, first thing um, since this is a virtual environment I'm going to be simulating two different drives. One drive will be uh, both of them will be external thumb drives, let's say, or they can be external hard drives, or one can be an internal drive and one can be an external drive. It doesn't matter. You're going to do it basically the same way in the uh, Linux uh, pup or in the puppy Linux environment. Um, so here it is. We got drive one, and this has a bunch of files in it. And let's just say we want to move it over to our other drive which is right here drive 2 okay the simplest and easiest way would be to just drag and drop it now from drive 1 to drive 2 that's where we're gonna put our files drive 1 is the source drive drive 2 is the destination drive okay source drive is where you're going from destination drive is where you're going to so the easiest thing to do is go to your uh, source drive or drive one and go ahead and click inside there and on your keyboard you're gonna press the control button and the A button at the same time control A okay that's gonna highlight and choose all of the files in this uh, directory folder drive whatever you want to call it okay then from there you just choose any one of these highlighted files it doesn't matter which one but left click it once and hold hold it down okay and then all you're gonna do is just drag it and drop it to drive 2 which is the source drive now once you do that and you release the left mouse button it's gonna ask you what do you want to do do you want to copy or do you want to move so for here what we're going to do is we're going to release the left mouse button and we're just going to copy them right to drive 2. Alright and that's all we're going to do. That's a simple um, that's a simple uh, copy from one drive to another. The other one could be a move and you would do that the same way. Just highlight everything with the control A buttons on your keyboard choose one of the folders and left click on it once hold the left mouse button down go over here once you get inside your, dest your uh, destination drive you release the left mouse button and you can choose move now it's going to ask you you're, you're copying everything again so you can do it quietly and that way it won't confirm every operation okay and then just press OK oh okay newer okay now let's do it okay just doing all of them alright no problem okay so see and then we did a move first we did a copy from drive one to drive two then we did a move from drive one to drive two you do a copy your original files will stay in its original drive if you do a move it'll move all those files from your original 
or your source drive to your destination drive. And that's all. And then you could just do another copy or another drag and drop to drive one again. Okay? And I told you in an earlier video, I'd show you how to delete files here in um, uh, Puppy Linux. There are several ways you can do that. Well, the first way you can do it is you can come in here, you can highlight all of your uh, folders again with the Control A button. Then you can take one of them and then drag it and drop it into the trash can right here. Okay? And then if you want to, then you can open up your trash can. And you can decide what you want to do. Either you can restore it or you can delete it. If you find one that you want to restore, just choose it by left clicking on it once with your left uh, mouse button. And then you come down here and you can choose what you want to do. You can either restore it or delete it or cancel. If you want to delete them all at once, what I would do is, again, on your keyboard, choose the control button and the A button. Okay. Choose control and A. All right. Then you can right click on all of, on one of them. It doesn't matter. Choose one. If you're going to delete them all, it don't matter. Right click. See where it says 10 items? That's the 10 items that we selected. And then you can choose delete. Once you do that, another box will come up. And at this point, you can choose quiet and force. That way, it'll go ahead and delete them all without confirming it. And just press yes. And you've deleted them all out of your trash. All right. Okay, so that's how you can do the first um, how you can do the first backup. That's real simple in my opinion. The second backup is you can use uh, uh, Puppy Linux backup tools. They have several backup tools. Uh, if you right click on an empty spot and go down to utilities, you can choose their backup tools here. You should also be able to get to it through the menu button. If you left click on the menu button and you go to utilities, you will see the same same type of tools right there. Okay. And then, oh, also, uh, I wanted to let you know from an early video to uh, go to your files. You can also come over to the file icon up in the top uh, left hand corner. If you left click on that. That will also take you to the files in your root folder. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try that second. Uh, let's try one of those backup utilities. Um, and all you gotta do is just right click on the empty desktop if you wanna use it this way or you can go down to the uh, menu button. And then from here, let's choose the first one here, P backup and sync and I already have everything set up but let's just go over it real quick you can choose whether to back up recent files or back or do a full backup or a sync I usually just highlight and uh, full backup then you come over here and you want to choose to save from what that means is is that the folder or files you want to save from and you come over here and you can choose whatever you want. I already have mine done. I hope this doesn't delete. Yeah, okay. So I want to save from drive one, save two, drive two. And you can just choose whichever drive you want. I have already chosen mine, which is drive two. And then down here, you have some tabs with some additional options. Me, I just keep whatever it is at default. And I just go ahead and do a backup and just go ahead and click on the bottom you'll see the button that says backup you just click that so it was real quick it says backup finish check the backup result in the file manager and your backup is done so you just go ahead and click finish 
and then what we're going to do we do have file manager right here open but what we need to do is come over here click on the file uh, icon since we saved everything to drive to let's go ahead and open that you see we have a backup with a name and then just left click on it to open it up you got root left click on it again open it up there's uh, a copy of drive one left click on it and there are your files and you can do a comparison so it did do a successful backup alright and to permanently delete any old files that you don't want you can just right click on it and you'll see the file name uh, you can either rename it but if you want to delete it you just left click on delete come down here choose force and quiet so that it, it won't have to uh, show you everything that it's doing and then just press yes okay and it deleted it I believe it del yeah it deleted it permanently okay and that's the same thing you can do with all of them just on your your keyboard you do a control and then an A they're all highlighted and then choose one of them it doesn't matter which one and then it'll, it'll show you display a menu with nine with the nine highlighted items and then you can just come down here and choose delete and then once again choose force and uh, let's highlight over it it'll tell you so that you don't uh so that it doesn't confirm deletion of non writable items and then when you choose quiet so that you don't confirm every operation that's what quiet means so make sure you choose those two that way it won't have to keep asking you do you want to delete this file do you want to delete this file and then just press yes it'll delete all of the files okay so that's just a, uh this is just a simple video for how to do backups um, nine times out of ten, like I said, if you're using Worry Linux on a um, uh, live CD, then you're gonna be you're gonna have a, a thumb drive of some type anyway to save all your files to. Um, but that's just so in case you wanted to uh, for people who wanted to know how to back up their files. Those are some simple operations that you can use right there. So, thank you very much. That'll be the end of this video and you have a good one.